Well, crap. You know, I start out with clean pants and I don't end up with clean pants. I don't know what it is about me. I just attract dirt like a magnet. Even if I'm indoors, I attract dirt like a magnet. And that's what I'm doing today. I was trying to uh, get ready to film a couple programs in here. So I'm moving things around. And then of course, you know me, I get sidetracked. I have the attention span of a gnat. So I decided to start transplanting things. Then I get all involved in that. And then I go out and have lunch. Then I come down and I'm admiring my plants. And then I realize, oh crap, I forgot to film today. So here I am uh, uh, sitting around uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to film. So uh, I brought out a few things that I wanted to show you. There is something over here in the corner. Remember I told you, I told you, I told you. There was something in the corner I wanted to introduce you to, and I'm really kind of proud of it. I'm kind of scared of it, but kind of proud of it. And um, I'm getting ready for next time's program. I have this weird little alien here that I want to introduce you to. And there's also something over here in the alcove that wants to meet you. It's not alive. No, don't worry about it. It's not a snake or a grub or another dog. It's... Um, something that's going to be changing the voodoo garden and i won't mention it today but i will bring it up in next uh next time's episode two weeks from now but for right now it's update time because you need to see these things before they go really crazy i'm trying to figure out exactly what to do with a couple of these plants and they're all back here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to present this to you and uh, get some advice from you because uh, i'm some of this is kind of new to me and uh, some of it's not but i still like to share everything with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, the first thing I want to show you is this. This is my, uh, remember the coleus? I chopped it down and everybody was kind of scared when that tree came down. It's actually doing quite nice. Not kidding. All that little growth, all that, those, those little spindly looking things that were at the bottom. I chopped off the main branches and I put it right up close to the, the lights. And look at this. It went from this type of leaf to this type. The rich color is due to the increased light. And I have more plans for this thing, but see, it's bushing out nicely. Yeah, it's going to fill out this pot beautifully. But I wanted to give you an update on that so that you'll see that, you know, butchering your plants isn't always such a bad idea. Sometimes you need to do it. And the one that I did before that was the peace lily. See, and that one's still looking nice. But right up here, this is what I wanted to show you, the stuff that's on the table kind of nestled down and hidden away. You can see this little, little bitty green thing, a little tiny thing coming out of a cup. That's called wisteria. And I don't believe wisteria is an actual tree. I think it's a, a hardy vine that kind of grabs onto stuff and people support it. Uh, a lot of folks don't like this thing growing in the yard because they're kind of invasive and they go everywhere. I have plenty of yard and uh, I have plans for this thing. I do like the idea of having flowers for the insects and also for me because uh, I want to have more than just vegetables growing. So this is a wisteria seed sent to me by a viewer and uh, it, it germinated. I planted two and I got one and uh, that's a pretty good average for me. This thing, I have no idea what it is. At first I thought it might be a jade plant, but it's not. It's some kind of a succulent. It was sent to me in an envelope and it was freezing cold and it almost died. I uh, tossed it in rooting hormone, tossed it in there and that's what's growing. It looks kind of like a ground cover, doesn't it? I don't know what that is. So if any of you know what this is, uh, let me know. Uh, <laughs> every time I look at this thing, I laugh. This one I call booger. And uh, yes, booger. Because someone sent me... Yeah, see, during the seed giveaway, uh, folks are very uh, happy to get the seeds. And uh, they are, uh, their gratitude comes in many forms. People write letters. They send me emails. Some people send seeds. Somebody sent me this, and there were two seeds. They were about as big as my thumbnail. They were squashed green, and they basically looked like a giant booger. Yeah, I know that sounds gross, but I, uh, I, what was I supposed to do? I, I decided to plant them, and both of them sprouted. This one is the tallest of the two. The other one I had to get rid of because I have to be picky about plants in the voodoo garden. I don't have enough room for everything. So this is what it is. I Look at the leaves. Don't they look kind of heart-shaped? I don't know what this is. It's not a, a philodendron because it's got a standing stalk. I don't know what this is, but it's growing here in the voodoo garden. So if you have any idea, you might want to let me know. Hopefully it's not poison ivy. <laughs> that would be that would be so wrong. This is that uh, uh, somebody sent me pepper seeds, and this one is called uh, what is this called? Pusa Juala. Yes. 
Yeah, it's called a finger pepper. And uh, this one started out from a seed. And I did the ray thing with it. I grew it up and it had this beautiful top on it. And I lopped the little heads off so that it'll start bushing out at the bottom. Uh, you've been asking me what kind of peppers I'm going to grow this year. Normally, I grow the large sweet peppers. This is the first year I'm not going to grow sweet peppers at all. No, I have uh, one space out in the garden and I'm going to grow this. This is supposed to be very hot. It grows profuse amounts of peppers, but they're way beyond the heat that I can stand. And uh, if they're really good, maybe I'll give away handfuls of peppers to folks who want to try them. I don't know. But uh, so this is an experiment. I don't need any information on this. I just wanted to show you the little baby before it gets, you know, really, really huge. And up from that, this is what I wanted to show you. This thing in the corner. Yeah, not this prehistoric looking thing. This is called a Buddha belly. I've had this thing grown for a long time. It'll go through cycles. It puts out a ton of leaves and then it stops. Then it puts out a flower stalk. And the flower stalk puts out flowers. And when I pollinate it, sometimes they form seed pods. But the, uh, eventually this will all die off and the stem, you know, the stem will die and it'll put out more leaves. It's been going through a dormancy period and now it's starting to grow again. But right behind it is the one that, let me see if I can step over this plant. And by step over the plant, I mean this. Yeah, I'm kind of walking in the weeds over here. This thing, I, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, back to the, uh, the giant over here. It looks like a couple plants. It started over here. This is one of those, they're called giant pumpkins. I think it's a dill Atlantic giant. Uh, uh, a friend sent me some seeds. I planted one and this is what came up. It started right in the very center, right over here. And uh, as it grew, it, it fell over. And at, when it fell over, I buried the, the stem. So there, the stem actually starts in the middle and works its way to the left. And then it comes out of the ground. And then it fell over again and went to the left. Okay, over to the right. Look at that leaf. It's huge. And it's just a work of art as far as I'm concerned. Big, dark green, beautiful. And then the vine went down. It laid down and it went over this way. And right when it got to about this area where that pot of soil is, there was no pot of soil, I noticed that on pumpkin vines, they will put down roots along the stem. And uh, that's to help them uh, continue to be strong. And I'll show you up close. Let me move this camera. It's kind of hard for me to do because I'm leaning over. You can see right above Rascal's ear, right at this junction, you can see a little white dot. Yep. That's where a root's coming out of there. That's what I'm talking about. And where that part will touch the ground, it will send down roots and the stem beyond that point will get stronger. Now these things send out tendrils to hold on to things. And that's exactly what it's done. It's got one going into the doorway over here. It's holding onto the doorknob. And then over on the left, it's starting to grab onto the lattice work and continue its journey. I don't know where it's going. But right back to where I was showing you, it went down here and started putting down roots. So I, I hurried up and grabbed a pot of soil and I ran it through this pot of soil. And it came out the other side. And so it's got roots down here and it's continuing its journey. I have no idea how long I can continue this, but what happened was it took the load off of this vine uh, because the mother plant at the big pot up on top had to support it. So when, it when I took the load off of it, look what came up, more sprouts. See, we got one up there. We got a few of them coming out down here. So yeah, this, this plant is definitely healthy and it's happy and it's running. Let me back up, see if I can do this without falling. I have this one light bulb. I have extenders. These are, are called uh, bulb extenders. You screw them into the light socket and you can uh, extend them and bend them and go any way you want with them. I did a couple of them, a few of them, and then I can hang this light right over here. Yeah, I know this looks kind of ridiculous, but then again, ridiculous is my middle name. And it gives, it brings the light over to here because there was no light bulb right by it. And pumpkins need really bright light, to, a strong light to grow healthy. So that was the best that I can do. And yeah, I do have lights like that all over the place. Some of them come right out of the, the socket here and some of them don't. 
Now you can see that some of these aren't lit and I only do that because I want to film and with all these going it's just way too bright. So I had to turn some of them off. Now I backed up just a little bit. My plan is for the pumpkin because I wanted to grow pumpkin indoors and I think I'm going to be able to do it because I have a, a change coming along in the next episode I want to talk about. But for right now I was thinking the vine would just come along, grab onto the lattice and then maybe come over to this table and maybe that's where, you know, I got a little bit of room right behind this purple passion. Maybe it'll put down a pumpkin right here. And that would be a great spot to put it because I can't imagine the vine holding onto this lattice and then having a pumpkin hanging from it. That just, <laughs> that just wouldn't work. And also the pumpkin vine, if it goes crazy, it's going to compete with this one. This is, this is the ivy I have growing in the corner. Doesn't it look beautiful? It's, it's, uh, it's just this octopus of all kinds of vines. It was one little plant in one of those two dollar pot, you know, two dollar itty bitty pots from Walmart. And uh, over the last year it's really gone crazy. And I like the way that it takes over the lettuce. So I don't want that to compete for space with the pumpkin because it will lose. Anything that fights with a pumpkin generally loses in the end. Doesn't have any smell to it. I really don't know what it is. I don't have a name for it. It says French breakfast radish. Well, that's an old label. <laughs> this is definitely not a radish. <laughs> no, not by a long shot. If you have any information on these things that I was mentioning over here, or if you have any comments on the pumpkin, feel free to post it in the comment section below. I'm all ready to hear from you. Yeah, this is a short episode. Yeah, I'm not sitting here rambling on and on and on. I have a few things I need to do today. We're having a bit of a hurricane uh, blowing outside. I had three of my gutter downspouts literally blow off the house and they ended up over by the road. So now what I have to do aside from getting this room back together and getting uh, another program filmed, I have to go out and find my gutters and uh, put them back onto the house and uh, hold them together. It's, it feels like spring outside and that's what's getting me really going. I'm really hyped up about it. Uh, but with spring comes the hurricane force winds in, on, uh, around this part of Iowa and there's nothing you can do about it except for <laughs> Just smile and dance a little faster. Anyway, uh, back to these plants. Yeah, if you do have any information on these, I'd appreciate it because I'd like to know what I'm growing here. I know it's nothing illegal. I just don't know what it is, you know. So um, uh, post your uh, answers in the comment section below if you have any. And um, I will see you next week when I uh, bring out this and uh, I explain what this little Land Rover looks like. It looks like something you see on Mars. I'll give you a close-up of it, an explanation. And what I'd like to talk to you about is a change in the lighting. Look at me go. Ooh, uh, a change in the lighting in the Voodoo Garden because I got I uh, I'm totally remodeling uh, the lighting system and I want to show you what I'm changing too. Yep. Finally, Ray makes the big step into a change of lighting. So tune in then, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. You're actually going to learn something, and it's going to be fun while we learn something. Yep. That's the best of both worlds. When I learn something and my brain doesn't hurt, it's a pretty good day. But uh, for right now, that's all I have. Uh, that's, uh, this is me and my little R2-D2 in the Voodoo Garden. We're out of here.